Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can find high quality pictures of your Mac OS X icons. So all you have to do is load up an applications folder right here, and I'm going to navigate to a built in Mac application and just for this tutorial I'll go to GarageBand since that's a great little icon and now I'm gonna right click or control click and say show package contents now go to contents and then navigate to resources and this is just basically everything that's included in the program that it has to look at so for example right here I have all the notes that you commonly see in its notation editor. So to find the icon, you're going to scroll down to the name of the program and then a file extension. So mine would be first named GarageBand. So I'm going to navigate to GarageBand. Okay, and then I see a dot .icns. If I double click this, this will open up in preview and I have four or five different images all in different sizes yet the same image. Now this big image right here at the top is completely high resolution and it's great to use. So if I want to use this in an application, just click and hold down on this little icon right here hold option and drag it onto your desktop now you have a dot tiff file of your little icon now this works with other applications too for example let's find the time machine icon first I'm going to look for time machine which is right here and I'm going to get this icon so to do that, right click, show package contents, contents, resources, and for this one it's named backup, and it's right here. Now if you're probably wondering why this is backup instead of the application name, that's because if your application has multiple languages, they'll be in their separate folders. Like right here, I have Dutch, English, French, German, so I would have to go into subfolders. So it's just easier to get the backup one if you do have that case where there's multiple languages. So I'm just gonna click on this little icon right here, hold option, drag to my desktop, and now if you notice, full high res image. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you subscribe. Thanks.